doing in my boardroom? You may proceed, mon ami. First off, I'd just like to apologize. My friend here has a little pennant for the dramatic. What? Come on, man. Stop. You're unstopping. You're doing it again. You're doing it. All right. Sit down. Ruby the Golden Cat, created in 1991 by a former kindergarten teacher, bought by the Complex Corporation and broadcast naturally as Movie Fun Time. It picked up a large following of children's age, ages 3 to 8 and spawned 16 records, 2 theatrical films, 8 primetime specials, a library of price to own video cassettes, and bi coastal theme parks dubbed Movie World. Did I forget anything? You forgot Movie Magazine. Oh. Is there a point to all this? You and your board are a dollars. I can't believe you forgot Movie Magazine. This is you. Do you know much about voodoo? It's fascinating, fascinating practice. No real fate to speak of, more like an arrangement of superstitions. The most notable of which is the voodoo doll. A mock-up of the individual is made and is subjected to various pokes and prods. Call security, now! All lines are currently down. Okay, come on. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm doing my... I'm doing my... You are responsible for raising an icon that draws worship from the Lord. You have broken the first commandment. But more than that, not a single one of you passes for a human being. Your continued existence is a mockery of morality. Like you, Mr. Bernard. Last year you cheated on your wife of 17 years eight times. You even had sex with her while you were supposed to be watching the kids in the bed that you and your wife share no doubt. You, Mr. Newman. You got your girlfriend drunk at last year's Christmas party and then paid a kid from the mailroom to have sex with her while she was passed out just so you could break up her with her when she solemnly confessed the next morning. She killed herself three months later. Mr. Peria disowned his gay son, very compassionate. Mrs. Truen put her mother in a third-rate nursing home and then used the profits from the sale of her house to buy herself an oriental rug. Mr. Baker flew to the Philippines on a company account to have sex with an 11-year-old boy. Mr. Bloom okayed the production of movie dolls from what he knew were unsafe and toxic materials because it was, survey says, less costly. You, however, lead a good life. You have a good soul. Good for you. You, however, Miss Wizard, you have more skeletons in your closet than an assembly party. But I can't even mention them. You're up for muck, you sick fuck. Good job. Good job. Wow, with the exception of Miss Price here, not a single one of you is a decent human being. Do you know what makes a human being decent? Fear. The fact is, none of you have anything left to fear. Living lives shrouded in mystery, even from one another. But not from God. I got my little voodoo doll. <laughs> it really does look just like you, doesn't it? I wonder if I believe enough. Um, ah! I don't believe in voodoo. <laughs> uh. But I do believe in this. I do believe in this. What does that even mean? Yeah. 
but it's okay. These were bad men. You're a pure soul. But you didn't say God bless you when I sneezed. Loki! I'm coming. You're getting off the light. Loki! Yeah, yeah.